Mississippi Moon Child.
1949, thy God has anointed thee with the oil of gladness of love. There are some things I just can't tell you about, honey. We grew our own vegetables and daddy pulled it too, and mama always said his stitches was too long. I sing because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free. His eyes on the sparrow and I know he wants to go with me. You got the bottom layer and then the top layer and the cotton in between. You know, the cotton in between, you know, kind of like a picture, honey, we put it between these two big frames, you know, kind of like a picture, honey. You know what I'm talking about? And we'd hang it from the ceiling and we'd work on it, like a picture, honey. You know what I'm talking about? Mama didn't want me to go far, she said. Don't go far with no man, she said. Don't go far with no man, she said. Don't go far with no man. She was 11.
Department of the Credentials Committee. My name is Mrs. Fannie Lou Hamer, and I live at 626 F East Lafayette Street, Ruleville, Mississippi, Sunflower County, the home of Senator James O. Eastland and Senator Stennis. On the 10th of November 1962, 16 bullets was fired into the home of Mr. and Mrs. Robert Tucker for me. That same night, two girls were shot in Ruleville, Mississippi. I was placed in a cell with a young woman called Miss Ivesta Simpson. After I was placed in the cell, I began to hear sounds of licks and screams. I could hear the sounds of licks and horrible screams. And I could hear somebody say, can you say yes, nigga? Can you say yes, sir? And they would say other horrible names to me. And she would say, yes, I can say yes, sir. So, well, say it, he said. And she said, well, I don't know you well enough. And they beat her. And I don't know how long. And after a while, she began to pray and ask God to have mercy on those people. Three white men came into my cell. One of these men was a state highway patrolman. And he asked me where I was from. I told him, Ruleville, you are from Ruleville, all right. And you going to make we're going to make you wish you was dead. I was carried out of that cell into another cell where they had two Negro prisoners. The state highway patrolman ordered the first Negro to take the blackjack. The first Negro prisoner ordered me by orders from the state highway patrolman for me to lay down on a bunk bed on my face. And I laid on my face and the first Negro began to beat me. And I was beat by the first Negro until he was exhausted. And I was holding my hands behind me at that time on my left side because I suffered from polio when I was six years old. After the first Negro had beat until he was exhausted, the state highway patrolman ordered the second Negro to take the blackjack. The second Negro began to beat and I began to work my feet. And the state highway patrolman ordered the first Negro who had beat to sit on my feet to keep me from working my feet. I began to scream and one white man got up and began to beat me in my head and tell me to hush. One white man, my dress had worked up high. All this on account of we want to register to vote? to become first-class citizens. I question America. Is this America the land of the free and the home of the brave? The land of the free and the home of the brave?
Ah uh... 
was his name. They both died on the same day. July 18, 1966. You know, Daddy died in the morning and Mama died at night. There are some things I just can't tell you about, honey. And you are with me again. Some other love has found me now. Cold. Yeah.